Hey everyone, welcome again on Devish Tag and let's continue the last video. In this video, we are going to work on the status page. So here you can see this. This is, will be the outcome of the status page. Okay, so we are going to work on the status page on this video and the next coming videos and we will achieve this UI and the functionality of the status page. So before I will start the video, I wanted to say that this video is going to be kind of a speed code video and before I will start, I just wanted to uh, request you that now Devish Tech have a 2k subscriber. Please help me to grow this channel. Now my target is to 3k subscriber. If you can share this channel link to your Facebook story or Insta story or anywhere to your friend, that will really help me. Okay. If you think that this channel is helping you or this series is helping you, just show your support toward this channel. This will going to motivate me to make videos. Okay, so let's begin the journey. So as I told that this will going to be a speed code, but before the video will go on a speed code, let me create two file. The first file I'm going to create for the status page. So status page dot dot. I'm creating it inside the pages folder where we already have the chat page and a camera page. Here I created a status page and let me import the material dot art package and let me create a stateful widget first. State this page. Okay. And let me return empty container from uh, empty scaffold. Okay. After doing that, so inside the custom UI, we have to create uh, another folder that will be responsible for the status page okay because you can see that we have many card available for the different pages for the status page we also need many card that's why i created a status page folder here we are going to put the all the card related to the status page okay now we can just use this status page on the home screen so in the home screen if you go we just put the text inside here so instead of the text we are going to use the status page okay the one last thing i wanted to do is inside the asset folder i wanted to put four images so let me put four images inside the asset folder so i have all the images which i wanted to put over here And let me put all these five images inside the asset folder. Okay. Now, after putting the images on asset folder, I can start the speed code and I can run the app. Here we need to create two cards for this 
status page. So let me create first card for the own status and second card for the other status. In the status page inside the body, we had to use those two cards. Here we have to provide the asset image. So as of now for it I am using to use my own image. This one images I am going to use over here. Remember in the in one of the video we already exposed that asset folder in the pubspec.yml file. That's why we can use that asset image very easily with the help of the asset slash name of the image.
you can see that here we are getting the asset image and name and the time so let's use these three thing not as a static as a dynamic so we can use this uh, other status widget for the dynamic purpose So the purpose of this video is now completed. We have to work on this status page in the next video as well. Like we have to add a circular area just like the WhatsApp one. So we will do that thing in our next video. So let's see you on our next video. Till that, happy coding.